What is the currently best GPU in 2021 for Mac or for Mac OS in general? Big Navy is finally here and I had the chance to buy Sapphire Nitro Plus AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT Special Edition and because I am simply amazing, <laughs> I did for you some tests and benchmarks with this card in my 2019 Mac Pro so you can judge yourself if the RX 6800 XT is the best GPU for Mac. So here you have it. Hi, I am Teresa from Morgonau.cloud and I provide personal individual support with Apple Mac, Windows, Linux and servers. So if you would need any help, just join my website membership. Link is in this video description. And I will help you during a video call and remote session directly to your computer in front of your eyes. In my 2019 Mac Pro, I have Radeon Pro W5500 just to drive my displays. So the performance of the RX 6800 XT is the best possible. RX 6800 XT is recognized out of the box. You don't need to install any drivers. It just works. For the purpose of this video, I removed my two Radeon Pro Vega 2 cards from my 2019 Mac Pro. And into the first slot, I installed this 6800 XT. Let's start with Geekbench 5 compute test. Mac Pro late 2019, 16 core Xeon. Let's run the metal benchmark. 183,308 score, that's insane. So, is the AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT better than my Apple branded Radeon Pro Vega 2 cards, which costs $5,600? Of course, I did the test for you too. Have a look. 103,577. So this single AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT Big Navy Monster in my 2019 Mac Pro is in Geekbench 5 almost as fast as two Vega Pro 2 cards together. That's incredible. Next is Luxmark, OpenCL Benchmark. Lux Ball scene score is 56,278. Neumann scene score is 43,087. And the lobby scene score is 10,912. I shoot on Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K, so for me is important Blackmagic RAW performance. 8K resolution with 12 to 1 compression. 84 FPS on CPU, but 164 FPS on GPU. Now let's jump to the Kendall benchmark in latest DaVinci Resolve 17.2.2. Again, the RX 6800 XT is recognized out of the box, so let's enable it just for compute tasks and let the Radeon Pro W5500 just drive my displays. Let's load 66 blur nodes. Twenty-nine FPS, that's insane. Now let's load six noise reduction nodes to put it finally on its knees. 34 FPS. So again, how is the 6800 XT compared to my Radeon Pro Vega 2 card for $2800? I run the test for you too. Only 18.5 FPS. Mm. And the 6 blur nodes? 26, 26.5 FPS. So again, a huge win for the RX 6800 XT in 2019 Mac Pro. So the 6800 XT is 56.7% faster than the Vega Pro 2 in 66 blur nodes and 30% faster in 6 TRN nodes. So let's test it now on real project on one of my past videos. In my 2019 Mac Pro, I have the Apple Afterburner card, the FPGA which accelerates Apple ProRes decoding. So for fairer results, I disabled it because my 4K timeline project contains some 4K ProRes footage as well as some 6K Blackmagic RAW, H.265 footage and sequence of EXR files. And the whole project is in 4K HDR. I will disable all optimizations, no render cache and deleted render cache. That's no surprise, the scrubbing is absolutely lightning fast. So let's export the video to 4K HDR ProRes 422HQ. 
I kept for you the update during render enabled. If disabled, the render time would be even faster. Color graded 6K Blackmagic RAW, it renders at 73.5 FPS. That's more than 3 times faster than real time. In 4K HDR, help! So here we have results. This video is 3 minutes 32 seconds long and the AMD RX 6800 XT GPU in 16 core 2019 Mac Pro rendered it in just 1 minute and 21 seconds. Are you curious how fast will this project be rendered on my two Radeon Pro Vega 2 cards? So two Vega Pro 2 cards against single RX 6800 XT? Unfair? I have the results for you. In just 1 minute and 3 seconds. So yes, sure, it's faster with two GPUs which are even connected via the Infinity Fabric Link. So the RX 6800 XT is only 22% slower than two Vega Pro 2 cards, but obviously much faster than a single Vega Pro 2 card and much cheaper. Again, huge win for Big Navy in Mac Pro. At the time of shooting this video in latest macOS Big Sur 11.4, latest iStat menus and TG Pro, the temperature readout is not present. So you can just only guess if it's hot or not by the noise it comes from the Mac Pro. During several minutes long maximum load, the RX 6800 XT fans were audible, but absolutely not as loud as the Mac Pro fans can be. So what do you think? Leave me a comment down below if you think the AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT is the best GPU for macOS or in my case for 2019 Mac Pro or not. My opinion is clear, yes it is, because if you compare the 6800 XT to the 6900 XT, the 6900 XT is much more expensive but delivers only few percent advantage over the 6800 XT. By the way, if you are thinking about getting just the AMD RX 6800 without the XT, then I have good news for you again. I prepared for you same tests with the RX 6800 too. So if you are not subscribed yet, do so and enable all notifications so you won't miss it. And don't forget you can get my personal remote support and video call on my website membership. So I hope I made your day again little better. If so, please click on the like button below and click also the share button so it can help to more people and that will in return help to this channel and help me to produce for you more interesting videos like this in future. So that's all for you today. Thank you for watching, take care and see you by my new videos or live streams. Bye bye my Macintosh friends.